Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video, and I've got new nails. Yay! Poppy seed nails. <laughs> it's polished, but don't they look like poppy seeds? Look at those finger fingers. It's like, whoop. It's like a ski jump. <laughs> I'm so excited to have fresh nails. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys, today is hard goods. Woo! I thought that we would start with the things that I had out during my live last night. For those of you who came to my live, thank you so much. That was so fun. Um, for those of you who weren't able to make it, that's okay. We missed you, but maybe next time. Um, so yeah, let's start with these things. Um, let me just reiterate that these are in as found condition. I am trying to clean out my basement. Prices are really great to get them sold. Um, but they are dusty, they're dirty, you might have sticker residue from price tags, they're coming as they are, okay? So if you don't like that, don't buy any, okay? That's how they're coming, I don't, I just don't have enough time to do all the cleaning. Okay, if you would like to purchase anything, you can pause the video here, I'll tell you exactly what to do. I do want to talk about something here, um, sending out invoices. I've been doing that Monday nights and it's been working amazingly. So I'm going to stay with Monday nights for invoicing. And then we tried one time to say that, um, everything will ship within a week of payment. And I think I'm going to go back to that kind of, I'm going to always have shipping done before my invoices go out Monday night. The reason for that is I'm thinking mama might need a couple weeks off just to recoup, feel better, blah, blah, blah. So I know this week I'm going to need a little bit more time. I'm doing my best and um, I'm probably going to be on my own for a little bit. So I just wanted to um, take off a little bit of the pressure on me. So you will get an invoice Monday night. And by the next Monday, everything will be at the post office going out, okay? If you need something more quickly than that, let me know. I'm sure there's some accommodations I can make. Okay, let's do it. Let's start with these guys, okay? Um, I don't remember what this is called. I've lost tons of my glass knowledge, guys. So, uh, yeah, it's this thing. It's made in Italy. Um, it's very pretty. There's a little chip right there on its little footy. Um, just look at it. Okay. There it is. Um, here's the bottom. It's marked Italy. Here's the top. This thing comes out. Okay. All right. So that's going to be $5. Okay. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, short of room today. Okay, I have this little planter. Isn't it cute? The little kid. Uh, his toes are have a little bit of a ding there. Um, there's one there. Uh, he's got this little column. Uh, this is Napco, 1962, Bedford, Ohio. Um, there it is. Not perfect, but still super cute. I have something kind of similar to this in my bedroom, sort of, and I absolutely love it. Uh, let's do a four dollars on that one. Four dollars, price to sell, you guys. Priced to sell. Um, I have this one. Hold on, sticker residue. Um, I'm not sure what this is called. I don't remember, but there it is. I put it in planters and vases because it'd make a cute little vase, wouldn't it? I think so. So cute. All right, let's go $4 on that one. Doop. Okay. Um, okay, so this is Fenton. Um, it's custard glass. It glows. Um, this is called a melon vase. Okay. Uh, so it's hand-painted. There are some dings. I don't know if those will come off or not. Not really dings, marks. Okay, do you see them here and here and here? Here, here. <laughs> so they're there. I don't know if those will come off. My guess is they probably will. Um, I don't believe this has any chips. Nope. Always check with your fingers. Your fingers can feel it better than your eyes can see it. Uh, hand painted by Bo. Yeah, that name. Okay. Cumbledge. Cumbledge, maybe. Okay. So this is going to be 18, 
$18, price to sell. Okay, we have this cutie patootie little guy. <laughs> so cute. Last night I asked you guys um, if you could pick my favorite thing out here. And you guys were right to say this, but I felt like I was kind of a trick question because I love dogs. And then I love weirdo animals. <laughs> so I kind of tricked you. Okay, there's this one. He's so cute. Little like sticker residue right there or something. Uh, made in Japan. Uh, he's marked Japan here also. Super cute. Okay, he's going to be $4. Eek. If we can go fast enough through these guys, I did pull out the rest of the figurines that I found. Um, okay, this guy is fantastic. Look at this face. He's like, not again. Not again. <laughs> And he's good for Easter, right? I think he's so cute. He's got the shell on his head. <laughs> he's like, why did I have to get out of here? <laughs> um, there's the bottom. I think he is so, so, so precious. <laughs> um, there, It looks like there is a little ding on his nose. Just saw that. Yep, that's the only one I'm seeing. You also probably get some plant dirt. <laughs> that's free. Uh, he's going to be $5. Okay, next. We have this Ray Dunn Sugar. It's in great condition. You definitely have stickers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That looks like sticker too. Uh, here's the top. The inside. <laughs> $2.99. That's what I paid. Um, there it is. Isn't that pretty in pink? This is also good for uh, Easter. That's why I brought it out. It's not really a vase. Um, so there it is. I saw these for 20 bucks online. I couldn't find one less than that. So I am going to ask, I'm gonna go 12, okay? $12. Okay, guys, I can't remember how to say this name. Namaji, I don't think that's right, but it is. Namaji, is that it? I can't remember, you guys. There it is. It's incredible. Look at this. It is pottery and it is absolutely beautiful. So, so pretty. Uh, here's the top. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, what's that? Maybe a little bit of the paint is missing right there. Okay. Um, yeah, so there it is. Uh, I was seeing these for about 20 also. I'll go 15 on that one. Okay, this, 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 this. I was, ah, well, forget it. I paid $5. Um, I thought this looked really nice when I saw it. I thought it looked like a really nice piece of glass, so I grabbed it. Um, I'm not great with glass like this. Uh, it does have a smooth pontal, I believe that's called, um, which I know is uh, sometimes an indicator of good glass. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm not remembering everything. So anyway, I'm going to ask uh, 10 for this one. Okay, $10. Okay, Roseville, you guys. This is a piece of Roseville. I think it's the only piece of Roseville I ever found in the wild. Um, here it is. There is some crazing. Make sure you see all that. Crazing is all these little cracks and things. I like crazing personally. There is a little ding right there and a ding here. Okay, so be aware. Here is the signature on the bottom. Okay, it says Roseville, USA. Um, the handle is nice, just crazing. And there's the inside. Okay, so there it is. Um, what did I see these at? I don't remember. I wanna say they were 40s. I, I don't know though. Let's go 20 bucks on the Roseville. There you go. I made a little bit, and you guys can get a good deal. Okay, the girl. You guys, I just love this girl. 
I love this girl. So I got her in an antique shop and um, she was marked $78, but um, there was a big sale. So I grabbed her. She is dusty and dirty. Um, there's the mark. I don't know what that stands for. Uh, she's just fantastic. She has this cute little umbrella, a little bit of paint um, coming off right there. And oh, I didn't know that was broken. Oh no, I hope I didn't do that upstairs. That is so sad. Oh man. All right, well here she is. She has a little bit of a broken bow. Here, let me put this up so you can see. Yep, now you can see it, Julie. Oh, that is such a bummer. Well, I was gonna ask 45 for her. I am going to ask uh, 20 bucks. That is such a bummer. Eek. I don't know. Does she still have value? I think. Here, we'll follow her up with another head base. Look at this cute lady. Isn't she awesome? So cute. She has a felt bottom that somebody added. Um, she's just so cute. Look at her eyeshadow. Oh, look at me. I'm just so pretty. I'm just so darn pretty. <laughs> Here's the uh, base part. So cool. I saw somebody on uh, eBay that was selling 90 head vases, somebody's whole collection. They wanted $4,500. I was like, wowzes. So cool, right? Okay, so she is going to be, what did I pay for her? Okay, they originally wanted 35 for her. So I will go... $28. Okay, she's 28. Okay, stay there. Okay. Uh, we have this little guy who's a cutie. He's like a little um, elfy fairy kind of guy, I think. Yeah, he's got the little turned up shoes and the pointy hat. So cute, right? Um, oh, that's in the glaze. That's not a problem. Here he is. I don't see any chips or cracks on him. So cute. Um, he is going to be, I paid up for him a little bit. $6, $6 on him. Okay, we have the donkey cart. Here it is. So cute, look at that face. Hello, donkey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, that's like judge on there, guys, but it's coming off. Here we go. There's the inside. What is this? More judge? Yep. It's like paint. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, made in Japan. Super cute. This guy is going to be... Um, let's go six on him also. Six dollars. I want to price them so they go. <laughs> But I don't want to lose money if I can help it. Uh, here we go. Look at this cutie. Isn't he so cute? He's like a little bashful giraffe or something. He's so cute. Um, this is just in manufacturing, but they're there. Just so you know, little pits. Pits in the glaze. He's so cute. I did not have these upstairs when I painted my wall, just so you know. So this isn't me paint. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it looks like this one has white paint too. That's weird. All right, there's the interior. Here's this part. Super cute. Uh, that guy is going to be $6 also. Oh, I dropped the number. Hold on one sec, you guys. Oh, boy. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, we're good. We're good. So at some point I'm going to have to, I have everything on a table next to me. I'm not going to be able to reach soon. So just so you know, I'll have to leave you. Hold on. Okay. Look at this beauty. Oh, it's awesome. Isn't it? A horsey head base. Look at his little, um, like veins and stuff. Isn't it cool? <laughs> it's the coolest horse. So cool. Here's the inside. I don't think there's anything weird. 
no, that's just how the glaze went on. And, um, what does that say? <laughs> Relic, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. All right, this one is going to be $15. 15 on the horsey. There you go, horsey. All right, this one I was wondering, I put a note inside it. Thank you for thinking ahead, Julie. Uh, thank you, past Julie. Uh, I thought maybe this was McCoy or Shawnee, possible, possibly. It's very heavy. It's a heavy piece compared to the others. So here we go. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. That is like dirt. There's a nice hair in there. Wow, lucky. <laughs> There it is. Isn't he cute? So cute. Look at him. I'm sniffing, sniffing. Uh, he is going to be $10. $10 for him. So cute. Perfect time for planting in the planters, you guys. Perfect time. Okay, here we go. We have a fish, a fishy planter. He's like a largemouth bass or something. Isn't that cute? So cute. Got some judge on there, free of charge. <laughs> uh, there's the top, nice and dirty in there. Oh, there we go, Relpo. So that's what that other one was, Relpo. Relpo, Chicago, Illinois, made in Illinois, not Illinois. Illinois, made in Japan. And there's the mold number. That's cool. Okay, so who was Relpo? The donkey, right? No. Oh, why does it matter, Julie? It doesn't matter, but now I'm curious. All right. All right, one more check. <laughs> How did I already not know who it is? All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> oh, was it the horse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put the horse like out of view. Duh, Julie. Okay, this one's going to be $8. Okay. Next, we have the little baby booty. Isn't that so cute? If my niece was closer, oh, I paid 75 cents, you guys. If my niece was closer, I would put a little plant in there for her, but it wouldn't make it to Virginia very, very well. All right, so this is Ruben's Originals, uh, Los Angeles, made in Japan. This one is going to be uh, four bucks, four bucks. Works. Next. Okay, I've got to grab a couple of you guys. So bear with me. I'll bring over a few if you don't mind waiting a second. And then I don't have to get up every single time, right? That would stink. I can't believe that head base had um, a break in it. I swear I did not know that. Okay, one more, one more handful. Okay, let's do it. I've got this guy. It's a little vase. He almost looks like a wall pocket, but it's not. It doesn't have the hanger spot. Um, it looks like somebody made it out of like a single sheet of clay, doesn't it? Uh, there's some glazing. Nope, that's not cracked. Uh, here, right here, there is a little bit of like a chip in the glazing. Little birdie. Dirty, dirty, dirty birdie. <laughs> that one's just going to be two bucks, you guys. Two dollars. Okay, next. We have this one. Okay, this is, oh, hull. It's a hull. Hull Art USA. So this is a hull piece. That is sticker residue. There's some crazing. It's a really pretty pink color. Um, I don't see any chips or cracks on this one. Uh, the glaze is a little thin right there, but I don't necessarily think it's a problem. I think it was uh, when they were glazing the piece. Cute. Okay, so that one is going to be $8. Eight on the hull. I think that's a good price on hull. Um, this one, I can't think of what this is called. It's the stuff that, 
you know what it reminds me of? Do you remember back in the day McDonald's tables were like all these little pebbles like in concrete? This is what this reminds me of. It feels like sandy, okay? It feels like stone, stone chips. And it has this awesome glaze spot. Has a little bit of an Asian feel to me. Um, not marked that I can see. I don't see any chips or cracks in this one. Uh, if you need any measurements, by the way, guys, just let me know. So there it is. I'm going to put the camera up just a little bit more. There we go. There she is. Uh, let's go uh, five bucks. Five dollars on that one. Okay, next. Okay, what is this? Uh, that's called something. All the little dots. What's the dots called? The dots, the dots, the dots. Oh, I can't think of it. It has all little raised dots all over it, you guys. Um, it is right on the tip of my tongue. Oh my gosh, drive me crazy. Uh, this is definitely for manufacturing, but I just want to point it out. Isn't it pretty? Pretty little bird scene. What are the dots, you guys? Mm. Okay, if you're doing it in art, it would be stippling, but that's not what it is on this. Um, this is also manufacturing, but I just want to point it out. I don't, no, just little spots where the glaze is a little thin on the rim, okay? Other than that, it's in pretty great shape. Uh, let's go, hold on, I want to see something. Okay, nope, it's good. Uh, let's go uh, $8, $8. Okay. Um, this guy. Hello, sir. You're awful cute. Horsey. <laughs> I love it. I love the monochrome too, the single color on, on pieces like this too. Here's the bottom. Does he stand okay? Yeah, he's fine. Um, here he is. Super cute. His ears don't have any chips. Uh, sticker residue for sure right there. Stippling, yeah, but that's not it. Thank you, honey. No, it's not it either. Thank you. Um, this one's going to be... Oh, hold on. Right there. Do you see it? So make sure you know that's there. Not on the other side. It might be just the glaze isn't there. Not really a chip. Okay, five bucks. Five dollars on the horse. Oh, I'll put the horsies together. Here you go, guys. You can hang out and eat grass together. Okay, they're happy. Um, all right, we have an owl. Look at this guy. <laughs> Isn't he fun? Look at that face. <laughs> He's like a wise old owl there. Um, if there's a mark, I can't see it anymore. Definitely sticker residue. It might be a hobbyist piece. I'm not sure. It's cute, though. There's the inside. Definitely crazing in the glaze and definitely dirty. Can you see all that dust? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, he's going to be $4. Okay, next. All right, we've got this, we got a sick puppy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay, we have this guy. He's also a Rubens Originals. A uh, little get well puppy dog planter. Isn't it cute? It's the cutest face ever. Um, there's your Ruben sticker. And here we go. There's some marks on him. Um, I don't know if they'll come off. Probably, probably. Uh, there's some marks there across. Can you see those? Yeah. Um, I bet with a scrub they might come off. There it is. Alrighty, that one is going to be $5. Okay, next. Okay, I cannot remember a thing about this either. Um, it is Shawnee. It is marked Shawnee USA. And this is called something. Um, I'm going to put the camera up so you can see the entire thing at once. Maybe. There we go. 
okay? Uh, it's probably about a foot tall, I would say. And now I'm gonna show you up close so you can see. Um, this is called something and I can't remember. Um, it reminds me of like the 80s and 90s. There's like a peach color underneath and then this gold is sponged on top. Okay, here's the interior. Okay, uh, so that one is going to be $8. $8 on the Shawnee. Uh, this one. Okay, this one is marked Japan. Uh, Giftwares Nancy Pew. P-E-W. Okay. Um, it has a piece of tape on there. Holding it together. Just kidding. Uh, the interior. And here's the outside. It's very pretty. Is this Juj? Yep, I believe that will all come off, you guys. It's in this pretty light blue color. I don't know if this will. Okay, there it is, uh, four bucks. Okay, next. Oh yeah, this little guy, he's so cute. All right, this one's marked, ooh, somebody had wanted 20 cents for it at one, p one point. I did not pay 20 cents, I paid more, but anyway. Mark Japan, and it's this little guy here. Um, feels a little rough right there. Ooh, look how dirty that is. Ooh, wee. Goodness. <laughs> so it feels a little bit rough right there. So there might be a little chip there. Um, okay, so that's just going to be $2, you guys. $2. Okay, let's put that there. Running out of room. All right, this guy, look at him. Now, he kind of reminds me of Shawnee, not Shawnee, um, McCoy or Shawnee, Shawnee. Shawnee, I believe this reminds me of. I don't know, I forgot. He's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> look at that face, or she with her beautiful flowers. Um, this is in the glaze, that green. Um, oh, it was marked at one point. I don't know what that said, though. No chips on the ear. Honey, that sounds good. <laughs> I think he's making coffee. <laughs> Eight dollars on that one. Um, let's put that there. Okay. Now we have this one. This one is marked Holland, you guys. And this one's not perfect. There are dings and things. It's gonna be very inexpensive. But I just want you to see the bottom has little dings. Uh, here's the painting, some birds, and there are dings up here. Okay, so there it is. I don't know what that is. Here's the inside. That one's just going to be $1, just a dollar. Okay, put that over there. Uh, this one. Okay, I believe this is Hager. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure. The felt feet are kind of in the way, but I'm pretty sure it's Hager. Okay. Since 1871. Uh, here it is. It's a Hager piece. A little vase. Um, it's in like a like slightly off-white color, almost white. It definitely needs a cleaning. Um, no chips or cracks in this one that I saw. Nope, somebody put some nice feet on there for you. Ready to go. That one's going to be $8. Okay, what is this? This has a ding. Okay, so this is Wedgwood, you guys. Embossed Queensware made in England. It's also stamped Wedgwood there. Um, here is the ding on this one right there. Uh, still very pretty. Um, Wedgwood sometimes will have like a matte finish. Obviously, this one is a glossy finish. No dings on the bottom. Let's get this so you can see it. Here's the inside, that's a sticker residue. 
There it is. Uh, that one is going to be... How much are you, Wedgwood? Let's go... Well, she has a little ding. $5. $5 on the Wedgwood. Okay, this is... Marked Texas. Texas. I know I got Texas girls out there watching. Maybe Texas guys, but I know for sure Texas girls. Uh, there are, there's crazing all over this. Um, no chips in the top. A little bit of fading on that gold. Um, the gold uh, glaze on there. There's a mark here. I don't know if that will come out. And a mark here. Um... Other than that, not too bad. Let's go five bucks. Okay, we have a another head base. This one was originally $45 in the store. I did not pay that. Forget it, I can't get the sticker off. Um, the sticker's on it. <laughs> so this is a larger head base, you guys. She's super pretty. Um, she kind of is painted with like uh, an iridescent glaze to her. Hopefully you can see it. Okay. Um, she has little flowers here. These do feel like there are little chips on them. Yeah, they both, all three feel rough. Okay. They don't look horrible, but they feel rough. There it is. Okay. And here's the bottom. This is Norcrest, Japan, uh, Golden Dogwood. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so she is going to be, oh, let me show you up close on the flowers. Okay, she is going to be 30, okay, $30. Oh, did I show you the inside? There you go. $30. Come here, you can go hang out over there, darling. Okay, I gotta grab some more, you guys. Uh, come here, come here, come here. What? Oh, no. <laughs> How do you still trying to think of what the word I'm trying to think of? Look it up on... um. No. Look for in um in a glaze dotting on a Moriage! 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 Guys, the dots are Moriage. But I think it's actually really pronounced Moriagi. But I don't know if I'm right about that. <sighs> that was annoying. Okay, here's a little pupper. Thank you, hon. <laughs> Uh, Jeff's truck broke down, so he is home working on the truck. Not good. We had some builders who were not very happy. Well, really just one. It was a little cranky. A little cranky. There's, this feels different, but I don't know if there's actually anything wrong. He's so cute, isn't he? Look at those eyes. Oh. All right, he's going to be $5. $2.15. dollars $5. Sometimes the light makes it so you guys can't see these numbers over here. Okay, this, I don't remember what this is called either. Ooh, I wanna say Bohemian Glass, but that's not right, I don't think. It's called something, it's called something, it is. Uh, that's hand painted on there, it is absolutely beautiful. It is um, like a frosted glass. What the heck is it called? I don't know. There it is. It's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Mm. All right. I'm going to ask 10 for that one. $10. Come here, friend. Okay. This is, I believe this is Fenton also, isn't it? I was going to call it coin dot, but I don't think that's what it is. Star something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Here it is. You can see the seam where it went together. Jeez. Right there. Can you see it? And there. Piece of tape in there. There are no dings in this one. It's a beautiful blue glass 
Look at the little bubble right on the edge. It kind of looks like a ding, but it's not. Can you see it right there? <laughs> All right, this one is going to be $12. $12. Okay, hold on. Oh, my bad. All right, this one is Kaiser. Oh my gosh, how come we can't see? Sorry, I hope it hasn't been like that for a while. Um, Kaiser, West Germany, Rosalie, and then over here also says M. Frey. So I don't remember anything about this. There's definitely sticker residue. It has like um like a porcelain feel, like an un um uh, like a matte finish, right? The inside is like finished with a glaze. This is like a matte finish. It's very, very, very pretty. There's a mark right there. There we go. Let me feel the top. No chips in the top, you guys. No chips in the top. This one is going to be $8. Okay, next. This is really dusty. This is like mortifying dusty. Come on, buddy. Show yourself here. Okay. This is a piece of glass. It is awesome, you guys. It is very dusty. I don't know if maybe it was an ashtray because it has these spots right here. Um, but it is really cool. It's like folded over and twisted. And I just thought it was so neat. Here's the bottom. It's made in Italy. Okay. Um, there's a sticker. So there's that one. I have this one on eBay right now. I don't know what I'm asking on eBay. My guess is like 20. I'll go 15 on it, okay? $15. Um, okay, what are you? Come here. You are 24, 23 karat gold guaranteed. Wow, very nice. Uh, here it is, it's like a double-sided vase. I think I've seen these called wedding vases before. Um, or maybe those are particular, uh, very specific ones. It could be, uh, there we go. It's a pretty color. No chips or cracks. Gorgeous. How about $6? $6. $6. All right. Um, this one. <laughs> okay. This guy, I bought this one and another one over that's coming up in one second, thinking that it was, um, that it could be, uh, yeah, I'm never gonna think of it. Majolica, maybe? I don't know. I was thinking it could be, um, a special brand. I don't think this one is. Nothing wrong with the flower. This is a pottery frogs. They're so cute. Spots here um, for, I don't know, your paintbrush. I, I don't know. <laughs> Here's the bottom. Okay. Maybe it's not Majolica. I can't think of it, guys. I'm telling you, I lost all my gloss knowledge. There we go. Let's do... I'm going to go 10 on that one, you guys. $10. And then here's the other piece with the froggy that I really thought might have been something also, and I don't think it is. Um, yeah. It has a big saver sticker on it, you guys. I was trying to take it off for you. There's the mold number. Here it is. So we have a little froggy. Can you see him? Kind of. I don't know why I'm having trouble focusing. A froggy and a flower. It's a really cute vase. Uh, there's the sticker. Uh, here's the inside. It's so cute, isn't it? I love it. All right, awesome. That one is going to be $10. $10 on YouTube. Okay, this is just, uh, this was on my windowsill for a while. It's nothing special, but it's kind of cool. I had some red glass up there. I have a couple other pieces. So yeah, this one's gonna be just $2. $2 on 
$2. We'll put it over here. Okay, what is this? Something with a price tag <laughs> around <laughs> the string from the price tag still around it. It's a red pottery, this piece. It's very cute. I like the glaze. I like the colors together. Uh, there is crazing. There's the interior of it. Let's go $4 on that one. Okay, next. All right, lady. Uh-oh. Ow. Okay, I'm good. Here she is. She has a head vase. She's very pretty, very demure. Look at her face down. I don't know what this is on her. I think it's dirt and I think it will come off. Um, hold on. Yes, it is nasty. Eek! I did right there. <laughs> there she is. She's dirty, but very pretty. Look at her bow. She reminds me of like Pollyanna. I loved that movie when I was younger. Remember the scene with the prisms? Oh my gosh, I love it. This is hand painted Nippon. Uh, 20 bucks. Okay, do I have more? Oh yeah, I do. This guy, he is so cute for um, Easter too. Look at a little lamb, a little itty bitty lamb planter. Is it a lamb? Is it a lamb, you guys? Uh, it's a lamb with a pig nose. <laughs> Uh, Japan, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this face. <laughs> All right, he's gonna be four dollars. Four dollars. Put that right there. Okay, then I have this thing, still has its price thing on it, too. Um, CP347 USA. So I don't know who this is, probably one of the California pottery people. I don't know from back in the day. It's a really cool glazing with the ombre. And there is crazing inside. Still very, very pretty. Let's go $10 on that one. Okay, I have to reach some more, you guys. I have to reach some. Oh, geez. Way to go, Julie. Way to try to break it. Oh, this piece. I gotta tell you about this piece. Gotta tell you, it's a good story. Um, I'm coming, I promise. I think I'm gonna have to do this one more time, it looks like. All right, we'll do these. Okay, here we go. We have this piece in that uh, classic vintage green glaze. That's Juj. Um, there's the bottom that will probably tell you if you know about your pottery who this is. I do not <laughs> anymore. There it is. It's a really nice size. Uh, hi, Bryn. $10. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie, Minnie. I'll be done soon. Okay, we have a swan that is very dirty, okay? It's going to have the very dirty price. Uh, he's going to need some cleaning. There's the bottom. I think, again, that would tell you who it is. Not me, though. <laughs> See how dirty it is. Nasty. That's how I found it. Uh, let's go $7 on that one. $7. Okay, we have this head vase. Um... There we go. I hope this isn't offensive offensive imagery. If it is, I I am not I'm not um I'm ignorant to it. So please you can tell me. So here it is. Um do, do, do. meaning I'm not trying to be offensive, I don't realize. <laughs> there we go. Uh there's the bottom. Really cool. Uh, let's see. This one is going to be $15, $15 on that one. Okay. Then we have this one, uh, made in, I have no idea what that says. 
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, how does this go? I think it goes like this, you guys. Because this is the unfinished part. Oh, you guys, it's a wall pocket. Duh, Julie. I'm sorry. So you put um, the screw through here and hang it from the wall like so. This is so cute. Um, there are spots where the glaze is light, but that's from the process of making it. I'm going to look at that with my loop. See if I can see it better. Uh, made and it's like a C. No, no. I don't have it, guys. I'm not sure. It's really cute, though. Little wall pocket. Um, you would hang these on the wall, and you could put plants in it or whatever, but they were called wall pockets. Uh, let's go $8 on that one. Um, here we go. We have this cute lady. Um, look at her. Oh, my gosh. She's so cute. Look at her face. Aw, so cute. I would say there's a little bit of um, rubbing off of, this was actually before they fired it. There doesn't feel different. I think they just didn't finish the back as much, but the gold definitely has some wear on it. Okay, she had some floral foam in there at one point. So cute. Ah, she's so cute. Okay, she is going to be 12. Okay, I have a note on here, Lister for 15. So I'm gonna ask 12. Okay, we have a pair of swans. All right, forget it. You know I resell. Um, it looks like I paid a dollar each on them. Here's one, there's crazing. Here's the inside. It's in nice condition. Oh, I feel a little chip right there. Look at that. See, I didn't see it, you guys. I could feel it right there. Why are you not focusing? Right there. Okay. Um, it says hand-painted Japan. I think this is okay. Let me feel this one. This one's got some stuff on it. Hand-painted Japan. Um, little ding right there, it feels like. All right, so there they are. Let's do, oh my gosh, what is wrong with my camera? When it starts doing this, it's like this um, never ending. I have to focus on everything. I have to keep pushing it to focus. Um, okay, $5 for the pair. I hate when it does this. It's really annoying. Okay, we have this guy. I think it's because things are coming in and out of the picture and moving and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here's the bottom. This is a little planter, or I guess it could be a vase too, with a little mallard duck or something on there. There we go. Cute. No dings that I see. How about, I'll just go $3 on that one. Okay, this was on my windowsill for a while. It's tall, little ribbed vase. It's just red glass. Nothing fancy. Um, it does go in on the sides, which is fun. How about $3? And then this was also on my windowsill for a while. Um, it has little dimples. <laughs> and it's a little pinched together at the top. Pretty cute. How about $3 on that one? Okay, then I have this one. This one is marked Murano. Um, Arte Murano, made in Italy. Whoops. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. So um, Murano glass, Murano's a place. So not everything that says Murano is like Murano glass. It's made in Murano. So I don't know what this is. It's a heavy piece. Um, it doesn't have a flat pontal, which I think Murano does, so that's a little different. But yeah, it's super pretty. Um, it's like this really cool yellow and clear glass together. It's very, very pretty. 
No chips or cracks up there. How about 15? One five. Okay, so this is the piece with the funny story. So I had this piece and I could not figure out what this was, you guys. Like, I'm like, what is this thing? So it's by Fenton. It has its sticker. Um, I'm like, what is this thing? I couldn't figure it out. Could not figure it out. So I ended up um, buying books, um, the Fenton, some of the Fenton collector books and found it. But I also asked George, the, um, the Antique Nomad on YouTube, uh, I used to watch him a lot and I asked him if he knew what it was and he did not. So it wasn't just me. <laughs> so this piece was made from 1947 to 1953. Um, again, it's a glass piece by Fenton and it is a planter, you guys. This is kind of like a backstop for your plant. So you plant in here and uh, that's what it is. Isn't that cool? Really cool. I couldn't find any for sale. Nothing, you guys. So it was quite the process. <laughs> All right, so this one, I'm gonna take it apart so nothing happens to it. And I'm going to ask 20 for that one. Okay, put that over there. All right, you guys, one last pile. And I'll check the time. And maybe we can do some figurines too. Okay. Sorry, I hope this isn't annoying. I'm coming. I'm coming, I promise. Okay. All right, that's the end of it. Okay. What time is it? Oh boy, we're almost an hour. Okay, I have this beautiful, vintage, very large flower pot. It is uh, very dirty, it has the very vintage um, mushroom um, mushroom iconography. <gasps> is that the right word? That's a good word. There is a uh, crack right here. Um, I think I can get it to you in one piece, but it is gonna be a little bit to, uh, to ship because it's a little bit heavy. So I'm gonna keep the price nice and low for you. Tammy did it in 1975. Good year. Little chip in the glazing right there. Okay, so that is just gonna be $5 plus shipping, of course. Let's put that back over here so we have room. All right, next. This thing is really cool, you guys. I was really drawn to it. Isn't it cool? It is this like art glass vase with all this supplied glass in blue and um, it's cased, meaning there's white inside and blue on the outside. I think that's what that's called. That popped into my head, so it probably is. Um, it's just really cool. Isn't this a cool piece? I thought it was. And it has the uh, fluted top or ruffled top. I don't know what you call it in glass. Uh, let's go 15 on that one. Fine. Okay, and then I've got this guy. I don't think he's really anything, anything crazy. A um, little bit heavier. It looks like it's blown glass as like a pontal mark. Okay, so let's do. It's like an orangey color, you guys. Um, let's do five dollars on that one. Okay, five dollars. Put that over there. Okay, this one. Thanks. Okay. Gonder USA H39. It's very, very pretty. Isn't this beautiful? I think this is so pretty. Somebody needs to set this up for Easter, right? I know you won't get it in time this time, but wouldn't it be so cute set up for Easter? I love it. I love the colors. I think it is fantastic. So good. And it is in very very nice condition no it's not even a problem i thought i felt a chip but it's not it's that little piece from uh manufacturing that doesn't have glaze on it so this is where it sat in the kiln okay on the little um the, like kiln feet so that your piece doesn't uh stick to the kiln shelf when it's firing that's what those are 
It's so, so pretty. I love this one. This one's going to be 15, you guys. 15. Put that one over there so nothing happens to it. Okay, this is just fun, I think. Look at this, you guys. It's a rock vase. Now, this is kind of heavy, okay? So, probably will be $10 to ship this, but you could probably get other stuff in the box with it. Um, it is a rock. Someone, Lee Spiller did this, okay? And that's what that person does. I remember looking it up. It's a rock vase. Isn't that so cool? So cool. Let's do um, $8. <coughs> Wow. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but I didn't like it. Okay, I have a pair of these. Guys, I don't know what these are. I was totally intrigued by them. Um, here they are. There's two of them. It looks like there's a yard sale sticker on here. Okay, whatever. I can't get it. Look at it. It's almost like a Millefiori in the glass. It is so flippin' cool. Look at that. They're so pretty, you guys. Um, they do have a smooth pontal. Um, there's no chips or cracks. They are heavy. They are a heavy-duty glass. So, so, so pretty. So pretty. Oh, there's an edge to the sticker right there. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> there it is. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, so I'm going to do 30 on the pair, okay? $30 on the pair. I feel like there's something good. But um, I could never really find out too much about them. So 30 on the pair. Uh, this was on my windowsill for a while too. Nothing super um, expensive. Okay, it's like a little fluted ruffled top. Uh, kind of looks like Amberina a little bit. A little bit. Alright, how about $4 on that one? Okay, and lastly, we have this one. Here is the signature. And here it is, kind of like a little modernist design on there, painting, uh, glazing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. There it is. Uh, it's definitely like a pottery. Is that a crack? Yep, I just saw that. That little crack goes all the way through. See the little line right there? Might have been glued back on. I don't know. Okay, so let's just do $2 on that one. $2. Do you guys want us to hang out for figurines? Let's do it. If you've got to go, I understand. We're going to go. I'm going to bring this thing up. Now, remember, these figurines came out of that house with all the dust. And then I just stuck them away. Okay? So, yeah. It is what it is. Here we go. I have this little, like, flat of all of these figurines. A lot of them are stone critters. Can I find one with a tag? Probably not. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. So, um, they're called stone critters. They're like from the eighties or so you guys. And, uh, right now the cheapest I saw them were like $6 a piece. Most were up to 15. Most, excuse me, were up to 15. Most were around 10. So I am not going to sell them that high. I would like somebody to take them all for me. <laughs> All right, so first one, we have an alligator. Um, I believe I pulled out any with chips and cracks already, but we'll do a quick look. Isn't he cute? So cute. So he, these guys are going to be bargains, okay, guys? They're going to be $4 a piece, unless there are bigger ones. Four bucks. Okay, next, I'm going to move this down a little. And, okay, here's one. Aren't they cute? Little mice. Uh, maybe some, no, it's not. In person, that's not like that. It's just lighter color. Okay, there it is. 
There it is. All right. Four dollars. I need to get the numbers on camera because if I have to look back and the numbers aren't there, it is no bueno. No fun for me. Okay, we have a hermit crab. He is missing a little bit of coloring here. And then on the shell, it looks like there's a little chip or, yeah, it's a little chip. He's wicked cute though. <laughs> um, I don't know if he's a stone critter. This looks a little bit different on the bottom. Anyway, here he is. He's just gonna be $3. Uh, we have a Doberman. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. So cute. Stone Critters, Doberman, made in the USA, you guys. Oh, maybe it was a Stone Critter. That's the same bottom as that one. Okay, maybe a little. I think that's a teeny little chip right there, you guys. All right, so $4 on the Doberman. Uh, we have a turtle. <laughs> He's so cute. Actually, he looks more like a tortoise, doesn't he? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, sir. I don't know. There he is. $4 for him. Okay, whoa. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Stone Critters, giraffe. Please, please focus. Look at, so cute. Okay, maybe a little bit of color loss right there. There we go. Uh, $4 for that one. Next, we have a little woodchuck. So cute. This one's a little bit bigger than the others. Um, let's see, what does that say? 88 UDC. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Maybe this one isn't a stone critter, but he is awful cute. Awful cute. Little ding right there. See, if it were me, I'd take a brown Sharpie and go... <laughs> I've been known to do that. Okay, here he is. Um, he's going to be $4. Okay, next we have a wolf stone critter, still with this tag on there. Uh, so cute. It's like a little wolf pup, right? It kind of looks puppy-like. So cute. Uh, $4 on that one. Can I get this out of the way? Can we? Please, please, please. Here. I need room, folks. I need room. Oh my gosh, this guy's staring at me. Look at him. <laughs> a little raccoon. He's a stone critter. So cute. <laughs> do I say that every time? So cute. Four dollars. I do have some Wade Whimsies in here, guys. We'll go through those really fast, too. Um, we have this little seal pup. I don't know what the deal is on his face there. Do you see it? I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. Uh, all right, so we'll just do $3 on him because I don't know. Might just clean off. It might be supposed to be there. I don't know. Okay, made in the USA. We've got, um, that's the baleen showing on the whale. Isn't that stuff cool? What happens is they suck in a whole bunch of seawater and stuff and krill, and then the krill stays behind and the water comes out. It's like its own little uh, strainer system. Isn't that cool? There he is. So cute. Uh, $4 on him. All right. It looks like stone critters still. Okay, good. Uh, we have a pair of giraffes. Oh my gosh, look at their eyes are closed. Like, I just love you. All right, I was going to ask five for this one because they're a little bigger, but there is a little ding. So I will go $3. Oh my gosh, their eyes closed. They're just like, I just love you so. We have a little bunny with an itch. The little flea bunny. Just kidding. Do you have fleas, sir? <laughs> All right. $4 on that one. Uh, we have a dragon who has dings. All right, he's going to be very inexpensive. <laughs> he's got a ding there. He's got dings here. 
We got a ding there. Oh yeah, he's a mess. Uh, one dollar. <laughs> one dollar. Uh, here we go. We have a little poodle. So cute. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little, little bit of paint lost right there. Okay, one, uh, four dollars, excuse me. Needs to be clean, that one's dirty. We have a white tiger cub. Oh, look at those blue eyes. Oh, you're so pretty. Hello, sir. Okay, four dollars for him. Uh, we have a turkey. I came across a turkey all like this this morning in the road. He was prancing around. A little bit of color loss there. Had all his plumage on display. It was very cool. $4. Uh, we have a froggy. <laughs> He's so cute. Should we kiss him? Do you think he'd be a prince? My prince charming's downstairs. <laughs> I hope he heard that. Maybe I can get something out of it. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, $4. Uh, a little mouse or gerbil. <laughs> so cute. Oh, there's another one of those markings. Maybe that's a stone critter marking. I don't know. I don't know, guys. There it is. We'll do $4 on that one, too. Uh, okay, these are not stone critters, but they're cute. It's a kitty, a mama kitty and her babies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I don't believe this is a stone critter. Uh, three bucks. Um, okay, I think we're back to stone critters. This is a little itty bitty one, a puffin. Is that what that's called, guys? A puffin? Penguin, puffin? I don't know. $3 on that one. It's an itty bitty. We have a buffalo. There we go. A little bit. I was checking if there's a break, but there's not. A little bit of color loss right there. He's cute though. Gosh. Uh, $4. That made me think of something my grandfather used to say with buffalo. That was kind of naughty. So I can't say it, but <laughs> a little dragon. Okay, so this is what the dragon's supposed to look like. That other guy has been through the ringer. <laughs> uh, $4. Okay, we have a little Scotty dog. He feels lighter than the other ones. No, he feels the same weight as the puffin. So I think he's just a smaller one. Color loss right there for sure. We're just gonna do a dollar on that one. Actually, I think that's a little chip, you guys. One dollar. Bryn's being naughty downstairs, so I have to hurry. A uh, little squirrel with an acorn. I thought those were teeth. <laughs> it's fur. I thought it was like. <laughs> so cute. All right, four dollars on that one. Okay, I hope somebody collects these and you're gonna get an awesome deal. Okay. So we're gonna sell these separately. Um, what are these called? Is this a ferret or is it like the wild animal? I don't know, I don't know, there it is. Uh, it is a ferret, a black-footed ferret. Well, ferrets are found in the wild, so. But I was thinking of something different. Okay, $4, a little bit of color loss right there. $4 for him, and if you want his friend, <laughs> His friend looks like he has a cold or something. Are you not feeling well? <laughs> uh, a little bit of color loss and spots on that one for sure. Let's just do $2 on this one. Okay, we have some cows. Do you guys go together? Yeah, you definitely go together. Is there another one or is there just two? Two cows? Cows? Hello? Cows? Okay, I think there's just two. Maybe this guy, this guy looks so much like them. I'll sell them separately. Wait a minute. I'm just going to sell them separately because I think they are still stone critters, just um, different cows. All right, we have this one. <laughs> He's like, Mrrr. have you guys ever um, gone near a baby cow? All they want to do is like suck on your fingers. Have you ever seen it or done it? It feels so weird. <laughs> All right, anyway, $4. 
Here we go. This little guy, he had a rough night. Dude, you shouldn't have had that last Jack Daniels. I told you. <laughs> Four dollars. Uh, we have a monkey. What kind of monkey has that? I can't think of it. Uh, a little chip right there, it looks like. A mandrel? Mandrel? Maybe? Uh, $3. He's got a chip. We have a little uh, parrot. Super cute. Is this an Amazon? It kind of looks like one. I don't know. Will this tell me? Hold on. I can't read it. I don't know. There he is. $4 for him. Glad the birds are represented. All right, we have this amazing sheep. It's so cute. So cute. Uh, $4 for the sheep. Okay, we have, this one's a tortoise. We have a tortoise. Okay, $4 for the tortoise. The tortois. <laughs> Uh, we have a little uh, seal. Is a harp seal? Yep. Oh, harp seal. Good job, Julie. Okay. $4 for that one. We have another buffalo. A little bit of color loss in spots here, you guys. Definitely. Can you see it all? Okay. He's just going to be mm, $2. $2. Uh, we have an octopus. So cute. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna be $4. Okay, now I think we're moving on from stone critters. We are. We have a beaver. He's got some dings and things. He's a bigger guy and I don't think he's a stone critter. I don't think. He's just gonna be $2, he's not perfect. Um, we have this guy, I think he's a mole. <laughs> He's also not perfect. Oh, look at that, stone critters. So maybe that uh, beaver is too. Jeepers. Uh, he's got some issues too. We're gonna do $3 for him. And then we have this alligator, also stone critters. He's got issues, okay? Issues, issues. Okay, so just $2 for him. Okay. Now, what have we got? I have an Eeyore ceramic, Mark's Disney. I don't see anything wrong with him. Let's go $8. I have an Eeyore here, marked Disney also. Um, very, very, very dirty and gross. $8. <laughs> uh, I have a flounder. Definitely has some paint issues. Mark Disney, Sri Lanka. Let's just go two bucks. Um, okay, I'm out of numbers. Let me grab my numbers and we can continue on. We're almost done. Um, we're almost to the whimsies. Okay, we have this guy, a little Tigger. It's like one of the classic Tiggers or the vintage Tiggers. Um, on an icicle, it's all glitter. It's a uh, looks like it's an ornament, classic poo. It has its tag. Let's go mm, eight dollars. Okay, are you stone critters? No, you guys are a different brand. These are Nanco. Okay, so I have this guy, kind of feels like he's made out of stone. I'm not sure though. A little mousy poo from Nanco. How about three bucks? And then I have this little hippo also from Nanco. I don't know what these are made out of. Maybe just resin, maybe it's resin. $3 for him. It's got his lipstick on, he's ready for a date. <laughs> uh, what are you? This is also Nanco. It is a little snail. Look at, he looks like sea monkeys. Remember sea monkeys? Okay, that is $3. All right, are we to the whimsies? Nope, one more. 
One more Namco. Look at, what are you? Are you a little badger? I'm not sure what you are. You're cute. You're real cute. All right, there it is. Three bucks. All right, whimsies. Whimsies are all just going to be a buck a piece, okay, you guys? We're going to go kind of fast. We have this guy. I used to know so much about whimsies. My niece, Danielle, collected them, and we did it together, and um, she had, like, every single one. It was so fun. Even the fancies, like, she had, like, um, Tom and Jerry. She had the Ark, the actual Ark for the Noah's Ark. Okay, one dollar. These are all going to be a dollar. We have this guy. There's the weed. One dollar. How can we do this faster? This feels like it's taking forever. We have this guy. I almost had the word again. Because I think this is one of those animals I'm trying to think of. One dollar. I'll have it as soon as I turn off the camera. We have this guy. One dollar. If you don't know about Wade's, um, they are offered in tea um, to collect. And there's different um, like uh, sets of them. Okay, like wildlife or North American wildlife might be one of them. Um, circus. I was about to say circus. And here's one of the circus ones. You guys know they're all a dollar. I'm not saying it. This one. Uh-oh, I had two numbers. Don't look at that. It's 324 for the deer. Oh, we have a rhino. Uh, what are you? A monkey. No. Are you a monkey? Yeah, monkey. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Orangutan, 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 tang, tan, orangutan, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> one dollar. Giraffe. Did we already have that one? I don't know. I think the ears are all intact. There's another one of it. Here's a second one. Oh, that one has a little chip. I'm going to put this with the other giraffe and you get him free. You can do whatever you want with him. Oh, there's another one. Are we going to have triplets? <laughs> nope, this one can stay by itself, it looks like. I think the ears are okay. Okay. My arms are dying. Koala. Okay, we have a clown. I like his little suspenders. <laughs> and we have his clowny friend. <laughs> Those aren't scary clowns, are they guys? If you don't like clowns. Okay. Oh, we have another monkey. Maybe a teeny chip right there on the back. Okay, after we do this, guys, I feel like there's a box of like scratch and dent stone critters that I might sell like as a lot. So I'll do that at the very, very end. I think there is. Um, little turtle. Oh, that one's marked here. Okay. Oh boy, they're orangutan again. Now I said it. <laughs> Oop, numbers. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Um, okay, I have like 10, I think. Uh, that's a gorilla, I think. Little gorilla. Okay, Julie, the numbers are not over there. Okay, 
Polar bear, it looks like we have two. Okay, the ears are okay, just wanted to make sure. Stop it, Julie. One dog, I keep trying to reach under my iPad over, over here, but they're not there. Like I'm under it, but I'm not even near them. <laughs> okay, uh, here's the other polar bear. Ears are good. He's dirty. He's dirty. Okay, now I did it and found him. <laughs> oh, Julie. All right, we have some tigers. Here's one. I feel like we already had a tiger. Who knows? I can't keep it straight anymore. Here's another one. Okay, that one's ear feels a little chipped, so he's going to go with the last tiger and he'll be free. We have this one, a little beaver. Ears feel good. We have this cute little doggy. I remember this set. This was pets. <laughs> uh, we have a couple zebras. Um, I don't like how that ear feels. So hold on. Let's see if the other zebra is good. Yeah, the other one feels good. Oh, there's some cracking down there. Okay, so these two zebras together make a hole. <laughs> They're two for a dollar. <laughs> okay, it looks like we have two cats from the pet set. We have this lady. Hold on a second. Yep, she had a little judge on her. She's okay. Dun -dun. I hope somebody collects these and they're looking for some. That would be awesome. There we go. Another from the pet set. Uh, one more doggy from the pet, pet set. A little Cocker Spaniel. I used to have a Cocker Spaniel named Mona. She was a really cool dog. Um, and, oh, another beaver. Uh, this one has a chip. I'm going to add it to a different beaver. And you'll get a free one. <laughs> okay, hold that thought for two seconds. I'm pretty sure it's Scratch Inventors. Oh, what's that? I forgot I had that. Maybe I don't, you guys. Oh, but I do have this. Can I get this? I don't know. <laughs> no, what is this? Okay, I found them. I found the scratch and dent things. Hold on. Hold on. Oh yeah, look at these. I'm coming, I promise. What in the world? What in the world? All right, these are still from that lady's house. Those bells are cool. I'm not showing those yet. I might find something to do with them. Watch out, Bryn. Oh boy, Bryn, you got your nose all over my seat. Okay. I have this guy, it's one of those like wooden lizards and the, it's all cut to make it wiggle, okay? All right, so he's gonna be uh, $4. Okay, I have these piggies. They're piggy friends. Dirty, let's see, what does it say? Made in China. Uh, let's go $3 on those. Okay, go right there. What's up with this guy? I don't know. We have a dolphin stone critter. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this one. Maybe it's not scratch and dent. I don't know, guys. It was a while ago. I don't know. He has a little paint right there. Uh, let's just make him two in case I'm missing something. <laughs> Two dollars on him. Oh, yeah. Scratch and dent. Okay. I found it. These are sad. <laughs> Why I didn't just throw them away? I don't know, guys. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Okay. Here's a little scratch and dent lot. Are you ready? You get all of these. Oh, somebody fix these. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. No. Oh. 
Little misfits. He's missing his horn. And look at the poor guy. He got in a dog fight. <laughs> One dollar. If you guys can do something with them, that's cool. One dollar. <laughs> I felt bad throwing him away. That's so ridiculous, Julie. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have a hobbyist piece. It's really cool, you guys, for um, Halloween. Isn't it fun? I thought it was really cute. Let's go, um, we'll go $5 on that. I am so out of room. You guys would laugh if you could see this. Okay, this guy here, he's wicked cute. He's got a little bit of paint loss though. Um, let's go $2 for him. Okay. And I have this bunny, which is so pretty. Look at it. Oh, look at her little eyes. So cute. Let's go $3 for her. Okay. Um, oh, guys, there's a turtle. He's going in the scratch and dent. He's missing a leg. <laughs> He's going with the other broken babies. Going to the hospital. Um, I have this guy, which is really cool. I wish I knew what it was, but I don't. I don't know. It's neat though, isn't it? Uh, $3. How long have we been on? Oh boy, hurry up, Julie. Oh gosh, look at how dainty and fragile that is. How is this not broken? Uh, it is glass. It is a little flamingo. Uh, I'm gonna look up close. Guys, I don't see anything wrong with us. Holy cow. Let's go $3 for that guy. Sorry about the numbers and the glare. Um, we have this glass little chick. He's good for Easter too. Coming out of the egg. On a mirror base it looks like maybe. No, maybe not. $3. Okay. And then I have this horse. Um, oh, he doesn't stand anymore. He's going to go with scratch and dent too. He has a native feel or something, right? Doesn't he kind of? Like he reminds me of hieroglyphics, hieroglyphs or whatever. All right, he's going in scratch and dent too. Okay, last few, you guys. I showed these so long ago when I first started making videos. I've got this guy. Isn't he cute? Aw, he's so cute. Look at that face. So cute. Okay, he is going to be, ow. He's going to be $5. Oh my gosh. Where are you going, sir? How about over here? Okay. Oh no, don't fall. I have a little baby with like a leaf and a snail on her head. She has crazing, but she is so cute. She's marked Japan. She has all her fingers and toes. Yep. They're all there. Little bottom. <laughs> She's cute. Let's go, uh, we'll go $5 for her too. Put her there. Um, okay, we have a pair of puppies. They're marked Japan. Super cute. Oh, they're so cute. I don't see anything wrong with them. There they are. Let's go, we'll go seven for the pair, okay? $7 on those. Um, his tails are okay. Yep, tails are okay on those. Um, we, oh my gosh, Julie. We have this little uh, parakeet or budgie. It had its sticker, but I don't know what that said. Um, flowers. The flowers feel pretty good. There we go. Isn't they cute? A little budgie. Oh, looks like there might be a tiny bit of paint loss right there. Hold on. Guys, it kind of feels like it was like that. Japan, like it's from manufacturing. Oh, is that a crack chip? Nope, it's not. Okay, so hold on. Here's the number for the budgie. Number 360. And he's going to be, we'll just go $5. $5 on the budgie. Get him out of here. Make him fly away. 
Okay, looks like we have a little horse family made in China. Here's the baby. Uh, yep, made in China. Here is the mama or the daddy. And here is the other one. There we go. Let's go $5 on the horsey set. Okay. Eeyore, can you move over, please? Eeyore, thank you. Go with your twin. Go and have a good time. Okay, horsey set. Good. Next, I have this little girl with her pig. <laughs> One of you out there has a daughter that loves pigs. And this is so cute. Like your piggy dressed up as your baby doll. So cute. Who is this? Uh, copyright Shackman. Made in, I think that says Japan. So, so cute. Um, little teeny chip right there. So let's just do $3 for her. Okay. And a Boston Terrier. This foot's like a little weird looking, but it doesn't feel rough. So cute. My great aunt had Boston Terriers. Have I told you this before? And they were all named Peter, one after the other. <laughs> okay, so let's go, I'm gonna go seven on the Boston. Seven dollars, it's a bigger one. Okay, go there, sir. Go there, Peter. We have these little cuties. He's like, you wanna share an apple? <laughs> Uh, this is left in left in China hand painted Okay, let's go Um, let's go seven on the left in Okay, do we have any more room not really not really how many more things two things guys eek two things left Okay, I have this birdie that looks like Japan to me. Let's see Made in, hmm, ooh, made in occupied Japan, I'm pretty sure. That's what it looks like. Here he is. So cute. Uh, let's go, we'll go seven on him also. Okay. Last but not least, we have a doggy and a kitty. Uh, they are made in Hong Kong. That will date date them. I think they're resin, you guys. Made to look like wood. There are their faces. Has a little mid-century modern feel. That one's a little bit dinged up. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to ask two for these. They're not perfect, but they're super cute. Two dollars. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have nowhere to put this. Literally not one spot you guys not one spot there we go i got it okay all right you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me um yeah i'm gonna try really hard to clean this all up so we can actually have a purse video <laughs> wish me luck bye